So for today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys my much awaited room tour. I can't wait to show you guys my finished room. I'm so, so happy with how it's turned out. Hopefully you've watched my room transformation video to see the process of it getting to this point. So yeah, let's just get started. So I think it would be best to give you guys an overview of the room first and then I'll start at my door here. So starting at the back of my door, I bought these two new coat hangers from Primark the other day. I thought they went perfect with my room because they're wooden and white. And then on them I've just got three bags. I've actually kept all my other bags inside this bag as I thought just having a limited few out will be a lot neater. So from the door I'm now going to go round to the left and we'll carry on like that. So originally on this area I had like a jewellery holder so I needed to fill it with something and I thought these two went really well together. I was originally looking at a tapestry for this area but I couldn't really find one that I liked anywhere so I thought of having two different things on the wall instead. These are both from Amazon and I feel like they fit the boho vibe so so well. I've seen this mirror a lot everywhere whenever I've searched up like boho room ideas. And then hanging next to it I have this gold moon phase tapestry. I thought this was really nice. Again it's from Amazon and I like the contrast of this being a circular thing and this being like quite a long thing that hangs quite far down. Then moving on we go on to my pegboard. So obviously this pegboard was quite a new thing for me, I got it last May, so I didn't want to get rid of it as I still do like it, however I didn't really want to use it for bullet journaling and stationery anymore, so I thought instead I'd stick to the theme and add a few prints that I thought went really well with the rest of my room. So first I have this print which is actually from the set of prints that went in the gold frames, I'll show you them a bit later as we move on to them, but yeah I just had this one left over which I didn't love as much to put in one of the gold frames, but I do still think it looks nice, so yeah I thought I'd just clip it on my pegboard. Also I got all these peg clips from Ikea, they're specific specifically made for the pegboard so they've got like hooks on the back of them. Then I have this bedroom plants print, I really love this one, it goes really well with all the plants I actually have in my room. Then I have this mini plant hanging, I wasn't really sure what to do with this because it's so small obviously it can't hang from the ceiling. I thought it actually went really well on my pegboard, so yeah that's just sitting in the middle there. Next to that I have a calendar, it's from Muji. Then I have another print which is actually from the same set with the bedroom plants print. These are from a small business called Olive and Mabel, and yeah I really liked them, and yeah I thought this one was really nice as well and then finally this last print I have is this manifest it print I had this on my pegboard before but again thought the colors worked really well in my room so I decided to keep it up there so yeah that's the pegboard it's a much simpler layout this time but I really like it next to the pegboard is the first hanging plant that's in my room so the basket is from Amazon and the plant is from M&S this hanging basket is different to the other two that are in my room but I really really like it it is quite big so I struggled to find a plant that I thought filled it out enough I love the colors of the basket and this plant is really really good quality it was really expensive it was about 20 pounds but it was the best one I found for the basket so I thought I'd just get it then if I go past the plant we then have my Alex Jaws area so firstly we have the full length mirror which was already here before and then turning round we have this area which I absolutely love so firstly I'm going to talk about the prints these prints are all from a small business I'm going to leave it on screen because I can't quite remember the name but yeah these are so so pretty I think the gold frames work with the colors in these prints so so well I laid these prints out so they overlap the two walls so if you can see like the parting for the wall is in the middle there and they kind of like run across the two and I think it has such a nice effect so it's like a really nice corner for the prints and yeah I think they look so nice above the Alex drawers then on top of the Alex drawers I have firstly a bubble candle this one was from Primark then I have a little vase for my pampas grass and then I have a plant. This plant's from Ikea and this pot I already had. I think it's from Ikea as well. Then I have this white basket which was from Primark. It was a few months ago though. I didn't buy this like brand new for my room. So I'm not sure if they'll still have it. But in here I have all my everyday stuff like perfume, um, moisturiser, deodorant, things like that. And then next to it I have my Alexa. And yeah, I use this every day for music because it's a speaker. So I really, really like that. I'm going to move on to showing you guys a few of the drawers in my Alex drawers. I did obviously organise all my drawers when I I was clearing out all my stuff. On the top drawer I obviously still have all my Glossier stickers, I absolutely love these. So yeah, first drawer, I've never actually showed inside here I don't think, but first drawer is my makeup. I keep my everyday makeup in this um, Spectrum Beauty bag. And then at the back here, I've got like a few random things, to be honest. This is good because like I just came back from Devon and I can just take the whole thing away with me and then put it back in here straight away. Like I don't need to organize it again. So I like having my makeup in that. Second drawer is, it's a bit of skincare stuff. It's like skin 
skincare that I don't use on a regular basis. I also have my ear cleaning solution in here and some cotton pads because I need to clean my new piercings. So yeah, just a load of random skincare stuff in those baskets. Next drawer is my hair drawer. I have so many hair products. In this basket, I keep all my claw clips. I love these claw clips. I actually got this new one recently, which I really like. Then I have things like my hairbrush and then loads of like Cantu products. I love this brand. So yeah, this, this brand is really good for people with curly hair. So I've got like a, this one's a foaming like mousse. I have... I have a comeback curl natural hair thing. I have leave-in conditioner. So yeah, loads of hair products in there. Then the next drawer down, I have a bit of everything really. In here I've got jewelry, which I don't really wear regularly. In here I've created a drawer for nail stuff. So loads of nail varnishes, I've got nail files, things like that. So yeah, those are the main drawers that I use for like my beauty stuff. The rest of the drawers are a bit of a mess. Then from there we move on to my desk area. I am gonna quickly talk about the blinds first because you might notice I no longer have the curtains. I've now got blinds, which I'm so happy about. Blinds are something I've wanted for so long. Long. I feel like they look so much neater than curtains especially because my curtains used to bunch up in this corner and just look so messy so yeah these blinds are from Ikea I really really love them because they let in so much natural light they look like they're sheer but on the other side people can't see through which is obviously good these blinds are from Ikea and I think they're about 25 pounds each to roll them up completely you just pull down and then they spring up themselves which is really good so yeah back to the desk in this corner here I've kept it pretty similar I think so I've got my pampas grass which I had before and I also have this jewellery stand and then I also have this jewellery organiser which mainly has my earrings in and then moving around to this side, this side is pretty different to how it was before. So firstly we have my light up mirror, I think this is called like a mini Hollywood mirror. Then I have this pen pot holder which is from Sainsbury's, it's in the habitat section though in Sainsbury's. It fits all my pens perfectly and the colour actually matches so well to the colour of the mirror as well. And then finally on this side I have my skincare cabinet, I don't actually think I've showed this in any videos but I've had it for quite a while. I bought it with my birthday money at the end of April so yeah I've had it definitely a while now basically spins around look how cool that is and you can just spin it choose the skincare you want it's literally like having a mini skincare shop I'll show you guys everything that's on it in case you're interested I think it's so so cool this was from Amazon by the way it comes all flat packed though so you do have to set it up yourself and you can choose like what height you want the shelves as well which is really cool starting at the top bit I have one of these face rollers I have some Glossier samples I have another one of these face rollers I think it's called a Gua Sha and then I have another Glossier sample then on the first shelf I've got a few Glossier products on the shelf below it I have this really cool candle which Frosty got me. Moving to the next bit, I'm just going to spin it round. Frosty also got me this candle. They go so, so well with the pot actually. And then on the shelf above it, I've got the rest of my Glossier skincare. All of this stuff came in the gift set I got for my birthday, which is why I've got quite a lot of it. Then on this shelf, I have a Zara perfume. This is so, so nice. Moving down, I've got a few random things. So I've got Body Shop hand cream and then I've got a Marimba Descu thing and a Suda cream little pot. Spinning round again. On the bottom, I have a eye mask and I also have a clay face mask and then on the top shelf I've got quite a few things actually. First I have the Isle of Paradise tanning drops, then I've got a few Marabadescu products, these all came in a gift set which Fossey actually got me as well. I love this one, this is my favourite, it's the facial spray and then finally on the shelf I have the Ordinary Serum. So yeah that is the skincare turner thing, I absolutely love it, it stores all my products so well and it just looks so nice on display. So the drawers on my desk I've been using for all my school stuff so I'm going to go through each of the drawers really quickly. So this first drawer I have like my revision stuff so in these packets I have my flashcards these are what I made last year for my end of years at the back I've got some revision guides and then I just have some spare pens in this pot the next drawer is actually quite organized because I have these little crates which are from Primark these were only like one pound each they're really really good I'm pretty sure Primark still sell them as well in this one I have a load of my flashcards sticky notes things like that and then in this one I have things that I'm going to be taking to school with me so I've got things like my glasses my like purse with my zip card in tissues my lanyard my key so those will eventually all go in my school bag and then these two things I've got my mini stapler and then I've got my hole puncher and then I've got some like paper clips and stuff in the next drawer I have a load of filing stuff so I've got like punch pockets and um, spare refill paper notebook wallets things like that and then the last drawer is just full of loads of reading books okay moving around again on the wall in between my blinds and in between my windows I have this tapestry I had this up on my wall in the same place before I redid my room so I just kept it there as I think it goes so well and then underneath that we have my radiator and then we have two new things which weren't here before I never used to have anything in this area but I think they both look so nice here so firstly on this side I have this basket which is from TK Maxx inside here I 
I've kept things like my blankets, some hot water bottles. And then on the other side, I have this really big plant with a gold standing pot. The plant is actually real and it was from Sainsbury's and then this pot was from M&S. When I was creating mood boards for my room, this pot is exactly what I wanted. So I'm so glad I managed to find it. Then we move on to the last set of my Alex drawers. So obviously I've got three different sets of them. These ones are the wide ones which are on wheels and they have six drawers. I'm going to start with the top of the drawers. So obviously the main thing is the rock salt lamp. This was from Urban Outfitters. I got it for Christmas. Then I have this plant. This one is fake and it's from Primark. Then I have this little pot which is see-through and then it's got a gold rim around it. In here I keep all my rings. And then finally I have this little trinket which I keep all my crystals on. So yeah, that is the top of the drawers. I didn't put anything else on as I wanted to keep it nice and simple. And then moving on to the drawers. These drawers were so messy before I organised them. It took me such a long time to get them right. The first drawer I keep all my camera equipment and like a few other tech things. In here is where my charger goes. It's currently just there because I was charging my camera before this. I also have in here my laptop adapter for my camera. Then I have another little trinket where I have my SD card. This is a spare one obviously. Then I have my camera strap and then this is like a phone cleaner or I use it to clean my camera and MacBook. Here I have my camera case and then at the back here I have my mini tripod. This is what I use to put my camera in to keep it protected. Then I have a few of the instruction manuals. I have my portable charger and a spare like glass screen protector as well. And these two drawers are my underwear. The next drawer is my pyjamas. I folded them all up nicely. Then the next drawer I have like workout clothes and I have my swimming stuff. And then the last drawer I have some shorts, tracksuits and then t-shirts. These are like spare t-shirts at the back here. Then we move on to the next hanging plant. This one is actually from Amazon. You would have seen in the room transformation video. I did originally have some different plants in these. I tried to reuse some of my old plants but I didn't really feel like they worked very well for hanging pots. So yeah I did order some new ones from Amazon. I love this one. I did trim it slightly so it's a little bit shorter and I think it looks a lot nicer now. And then this is the different hanger. So these ones are actually macrame and I really really love it. I have two of these in my room and then one of the other ones which I've already showed you guys. Then in the background obviously I have my wardrobe. Nothing has changed to this really. I'm always going to have this wardrobe as obviously it's built into the wall and yeah I absolutely love it. And then we move around to the main transformation which is my bed area. I'm going to start by going to the first bedside table on the right and then working my way around to show you guys. So yeah here's the first bedside table. These were both from a brand called Olivia's. I absolutely love them. I think they're so nice. I spent a lot of my time working on the bedside table layout for both of the tables. I think they've turned out so so well. I'm very happy with them. So yeah the first bedside table. Firstly we have a little trinket. I thought this would be useful to take off like my earrings and necklaces when I go to bed. I often forget to take my jewellery off when I get into bed. So by having this little trinket on the side I can take my jewellery off in bed and then put them on here so they don't get lost. Then to the side I have this flower water jug. So yeah this was from Urban Outfitters. I actually got it quite a while ago. Here is the flower design. I absolutely love it. I think it's so so pretty. How it works is this is obviously a water jug. It has the lid to keep the water fresh but when you want to go to drink from it this bit acts as a cup so you take it off and then you pour the water from the jug into the cup. I think that's so so cool. So yeah I think it's so so cool and it's much nicer than just having a water bottle on the side as it looks really nice even with no water in it. Then we move on to this which is a little basket crate which I got from Danelm. I really love the texture of this bit. I think it's called Rattan. In here I've been keeping my reading book, a little manifestation book. It's just this one here. I feel like a lot of people have that. And then I just have my little diary. Having this I feel like it's a lot better way to organise all these things which I do need on my bedside table and it just kind of discreetly hides them because there's quite a lot of colours going on. So by having them in this basket I feel like it looks really nice. And then finally on the bottom here I have my Harry Styles and the clothes he wears book. I'm using this as like a coffee table book. I think it looks really nice. Then I'm going to move on to the bed, which obviously is a really big part of my room. So the bed frame along with like the mattress, the pillows, the bedding, and also the throw is all from Danelm. Here is a closer look of the headboard. It's like a grey fabric material and the actual headboard like kind of curves around, which I really like. And then here is a close up of the bedding. It has a slight texture to it, which I really wanted. So then I'm going to talk about the throw pillows. So I went with a cream and green theme to match all the plants in my room and then also the new neutrals of my room. I think it works really really well. So the first sage green pillow I actually got for Christmas. I got this from my auntie and it's from H&M. Then I have a rectangular pillow. This is a cream one obviously. This was from Primark actually. Then on the other side I have another pillow. This one's a green one and it's from Primark as well. Again I really like the texture of it and I had to match a green one to this one which I already had and I think they work really well together. And then finally I have another cream cushion. This one is a square one. I love the different shapes of this one as well. I think it's really nice. 
And then moving on to the throw. So as I said, this is from Dunelm. This is the design I went for. I like that it's grey and white because it ties in with the headboard. On either side of the rug, it also has tassels, which I really liked. And this was actually really inexpensive. So then it's time to talk about the shelf, which is probably one of my favourite features of the room. We put the shelf so that it was quite close to the bed, which I think actually really works. Obviously, first off, behind the shelf, we have the fairy light. These I already had, but I really wanted to put them up again once we'd repainted the wall. So I went for a wooden shelf, and I think it really works well. I wanted to have a bit of wooden in my room, but I didn't want everything to be wooden. So I've just added a bit throughout, such as the table legs for my bedside table and things like that. As you can see, I've included a lot of plants on this shelf. So firstly, I have this one. This was from Sainsbury's, and it's actually a real plant. And the pot actually came with it, and I thought it worked really well, as obviously it's a green pot. Then I have this little watering can. Again, I love that it's green, and it's also a gold lid. Then I have this black rimmed circular mirror. I feel like the contrast between the light colours and then the dark rimmed mirror works so, so well. And yeah, it just really stands out out against everything else. I really like the idea of having a circular mirror on this shelf so I'm really happy it worked out. Then on the other side I have a mini plant. So this one's actually fake. It's from Primark and again I got a green plant pot. Then just moving around to the other side I have this plant which is again a real one and it's from M&S and this pot was from Primark. I got it a few months ago though. And then finally on the shelf I have this really long like fluted vase and again I got a sage green one and in here I have a load of pampas grass and also dried flowers which I made up myself. Then moving down to the next bedside table I think this one's probably my favourite out of the two. First off, we have this mushroom lamp. I've seen these all over Pinterest, so I'm so happy I finally have one. Yeah, here's it when it's off. I'll quickly turn it on for you guys as well. So yeah, here's what it looks like on. You could choose between having like a warm light and a cool light. I went for a warm light and I really, really love it. Then I have this digital clock. And if you can see, it's actually a mirror as well, which I think is really cool. I feel like this design looks so slick and nice. The design of this is really compact, which I really like. If you can see, it's really thin, actually. You can dim the brightness of it when you go to bed so it's not shiny out and yeah I love the look of it it comes on a little stand and it also has two USB charging ports which means you can charge like your airpods or your phone through it then behind that I have this donut vase again I filled this with the dry flowers and the pampas I feel like it was a nice way to tie those two things together by having the same things in the two different vases and then finally I have this candle again I went for a green one just to match the rest of the theme and yeah this was from Denelm as well along with the vase this was from Amazon then to the side of my bedside table I have my slippers I got these for Christmas from Etsy and I I absolutely love them. I think they're so, so cute. Yeah, they're very Pinteresty as well, which I really like. Then to the side of my bed, I have this cream rug. So it has tassels on the end and then it has this really nice textured pattern. And yeah, the cream colour of this rug goes so well with the throw pillows. And yeah, I feel like it really ties this space together well. Here is what the rug looks like from a slightly further back angle. And then the last thing in my room above my bed is the final hanging plant. So yeah, this plant again was from Amazon. I feel like it's so, so nice. The colour of it really stands out and it's such a full plant, which really looks nice. I again did slightly trim this plant just to get it to how I wanted. And then again, we have the macrame wall hanging with a slightly different pot and then this pot actually came in a set with the other one. Actually the final new thing I need to show you guys is my lamp cover. So this was again from Denelm and the colours work really really well in my room. This is like a wooden colour and yeah here's what it looks like in comparison to the rest of the room. I feel like it really ties in the room nicely. So that is my room. Thank you all so much for watching my room tour. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm so so happy with how my room's turned out. So yeah thank you for following along this process and yeah I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.